Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Early morning on Saturday and I've had a really good week this week. I've managed to play football four times. I run about six hours, seven hours of football, which I normally am flat out from start to finish. So I pumped off 2.4 kilos in weight, feeling really good up until about half an hour before we finished last night and I got absolutely wiped out, had my ankle literally bent in two and I've got my physical next week for the transit guards which I am, if I'm brutally honest, struggling to make now but we'll see how we go Okay, Saturday shave, as you can see I've got three days growth from Wednesday <coughs> I'm going to be using three new products today as you'll probably see from the photograph at the start anyway the brush itself is not mine's it's actually Spencer's and he's very graciously said that I can use it. Oh, he's actually told me to use it. Not, I haven't asked him, he's just said go for it and give it a go and see how you think. The brush is in here. It's a Declaration Brushworks brush. The handle and knot is from Declaration. And the knot, the brush itself, is an absolute monster. Just to give you an idea. I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it's a fan knot, I'm, I don't think it's a bulb. You can see it there. Now, that's my 28mm Morrison Fortress. <laughs> the knot on this is almost the size of my brush. <laughs> it is enormous. Absolutely enormous. The handle, you can't pick it up in the camera. It, it's just a, it's a really sort of rich blue with black through it and it's just completely saturated with like micro fine glitter. It's absolutely beautiful. Now this one here is a custom brush. There is a little bit of, it's almost like milking in that. So what's happened is he's actually signed the brush. This was number one of the limited edition run and signed it and there's just a little bit of milking there because he's actually signed it and then filled it in with a, a clear resin but I think it's quite nice it adds a little bit of, a little bit to the bottom of it it's a, just a beautiful brush it's lovely very comfortable to hold right so I've dipped that in the water I'm just going to squeeze out the excess I've soaked it for about 10 minutes it smells lovely I will give it a clean out before I send it over Spence don't worry mate although you probably clean it out yourself as well I'm going to go with Barrister's Reserve Cool, one of my favourite scents from Barrister, man, I absolutely love this stuff, I love the, the labelling's just superb, it's a, it's like a glossy, glossy blue that's on there, and here we go, I've just squeezed out all the excess water, you can have a look at the tips on there, phenomenal, and let's see what a brush looks like when it's not shedding, now I know that Barrister's Reserve it's a very, very soft crop soap. But I am going to load this heavy or heavier because this brush is massive. <laughs> Absolutely huge. And I'm really looking forward to this. I'm really thankful that, that Spence has given me the opportunity to use it because I was just going to, I was actually going to soak it because it was a little bit better out of shape from the, from the long travel from the States. This brush actually came from Oi Bay Chapel, Alex, over in New York. Just load a little bit more. As you can see, this stuff's really, really gloopy. It's almost like a sterling high menthol or Phoenix Arsons and Accoutrements Frostbite, that sort of gloopy texture because it is a soft soap and whatever see, you can actually see it glooping out <laughs> glooping out there's the phrase for the weekend right I don't know if there's enough in there but I should give it a go wet the face and here we go I've never used a knot this big but made them mix the mag art and the razor rock monster look like babies Super soft. Just keeps the backbone in it. Yeah, it's needing a bit of water. 
that's the thing with the Sparrow Surf Reserve, you've got to really add a lot of water to it. Doesn't look like much, you add a bit of water, it still doesn't look like much. Oh, there we go. Now if I can get a lather out of this, I think Spencer will be very, very pleased. Because <laughs> I'm not that great with natural brushes. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it's pretty darn good for me. Pretty quick lather, the brush is caked. And that's a that's a really nice lather. The lather so easily barrister man. Right, Razor Rock. This was also sent from Ivy Chapel. This was sent to me as a gift from him. He's been extremely good for me in terms of actually sending this stuff over. He's just an amazing guy. He blows me away every time he sends it and he just sends stuff. I tell him not to send it and he still sends it. I can't win now. Once some people get addresses, they just can't help themselves. So thanks again, Alex. This one is, I think, the MG90. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure this is the one that's based on the Edwin Jagger DE89. And it's supposedly better. I haven't used a DE89 in ages because I sold it a long time ago. Let's see how we go. Aluminium head, titanium handle. I've got a brand spanking new Persona Med Prep blade in here. Which I've never used before. So far, so good. Residual slickness with Barrister man, especially the reserve. It's amazing. Very, very sharp blade. Very smooth actually. This was also sent to me from Alex, <laughs> uh, as is the splash for the end of the shave as well. Well, so far. This is really smooth. The soap and the razor and the blade. Definitely got a very different audio feedback. Just a touch loud, even for me. I've had the Razor Rock Hawk before, which was kindly sent to me from Ken over at Ken's Shaving and BSing. And I never got on with it all, I didn't really enjoy it. And it sort of put me off Razor Rock products altogether because I never got on with the soaps. Soaps always caused me irritation issues and I had quite a few bad reactions to Razor Rock soaps. 
but it can't be the same because they're literally sinkless. I have just picked another one up, brand new, just to try it and just see what. See if I react to it, see if it's any better, this formula. And more importantly, see if there's more scent. Unfortunately, I have smelled it and there isn't much more scent, if any. It's, it's re a really disappointing scent for me. Razor Rock, I find them pretty pathetic when it comes to scent profiles. Just make a scentless soap if you're going to make stuff like that. Right. this bed. This brush has got the most amazing face feel. And you know how shit I am at lathering. That's pretty damn good for a second lather for me. Yeah, excellent brush. The knot is definitely, definitely probably the best natural hair knot I've used. It feels even better than the Morrison Fondrum, which feels great. But it's massive, it's a huge knot, you know, for Spencer's tiny little baby head. I don't know if it's going to really be much use to him, I might have to send it back to me on the cheap. It might like cover up his whole face and his eyes and everything. Right, the Edwin, the Edwin jacket. The Razor Rock MG90 across the green. I'm really enjoying these blades. Now I do feel like I'm buffing quite a bit. Because it's, well, compared to most things that I've used, it's very, very mild, the razor. But the steam's reasonably efficient. I'm just having to buff quite a bit with it just to reduce the hair better. While I'm on the subject of good blades and razors, love my single edge razors, I think they're, they're incredible. So smooth and so comfortable. But my last face shave on Sunday, I used the bullet point gem razor. And as much as it was smooth and comfortable, I did get a couple of weepers. It did not give me a close shave or as close as I'm used to what I found the single edge razors to really excel at is everyday shaving this soap is phenomenal I love the scent it's a very spicy no spite, oh God, I can't really. It's just a lovely cologne scent. It is based on Floyd Blue, which I've never smelled. Oh, I'm assuming now when I open this up and have a look, I haven't actually opened this yet. I have a smell of that. It will give me a, an idea of what Floyd Blue is supposed to smell like. But I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, it's a, it's a lovely, lovely scented soap, really nice cologne scent. And as you see, I'm not the best to lather us with an actual hair brush. But I am not struggling with this lather at all. It's just falling out the brush as well. It's releasing the lather, excellent this thing. And yes, I did overload it. But I probably, well, actually I haven't overloaded it, I've just loaded it based on the size of the knot. It needs more, so. so I'm gonna paint that on, and I'm gonna dip the tips. 
Let's just see what happens with an extra bit of water added in. After two passes already. And by the way, the dimension I haven't lost a hair yet. So you'd be pleased to know, Spencer, that it's not a shed. Is, however, a ladder making beast. Yeah, I can't grumble with that, I really can't. That's excellent. On the third pass, the fourth pass, I don't need a thick ladder, but that's still way thicker than, than you need it. Right, the MG90, cross the green. One thing to mention as well, which I love about this razor already, it's absolutely no overhang at all. The blade just sits right under the cap. Another thing I noticed as well, the handle's titanium, exact same as the razor rock Wunderbar. The head, even though it's a cheaper model, it's aluminium, it's not as nice as the Wunderbar, it's still precision machined. I mean the holes in the bottom, you probably can't see on my camera because it's terrible, but the holes match up absolutely perfectly. It's a very smooth razor. To be honest, I say I wasn't expecting it to shave too well. It's still very light. Oh, the sleekness on this soap is phenomenal. Since I'm enjoying this so much and I'm not getting any irritation, I'm going to add a layer of soap from the brush again, dip my fingers, just to give me a little bit of protection because I'm not a, against the growth shaver. Not a lot, just a very thin coating of it. You can see how much this brush is pumping out, it's amazing. It really is a superb knot. That's right guys, this is against the green. I'm never going to get quite as close as people that do all the time.
so far I have got absolutely zero Zero irritation, nothing, not even on my chin. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me if I get a little bit excited about this because I'm pretty much BVS everywhere at the moment on my neck and chin. There's a little bit here in the air, but never been this close on any shave, I don't think, ever. I mean, there's a little bit of irritation, but nothing like I normally get. <laughs> Holy shit, that feels good, that feels really good. I've got no weepers, I've got no cuts, no nothing. I do have irritation, extremely light irritation, sort of around this area here. I've got none on my lip, but I can feel I've got this, like, still a little bit here there. Got a very narrow head as well. Wow. That's all I can say about that. I'm absolutely blown away. New razor, new brush, new blade. I would say I'm about 90% BBS, maybe a little bit less, maybe sort of 80 to 90% BBS. the moon with that. I know this has been a long shave. Yeah, like I, I could almost pair that out of my head and I would be completely almost bald. Still got that little red mark there from that big lump I had on Sunday. I don't know where that came from but other than that it's a little bit down. I'd probably say the main part's down here because that's where my hair grows all over the place but even then that's still smoother than I've ever had it. The whole shave has just been amazing. Right, we'll finish off now with the. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna blast straight into it because this stuff's full of great skin food anyway. Barrister man or Barrister Reserve Cool. Give that a good shake up. This was sent over from Ivy Chapel over in New York as well. I don't know what the colouring is in this bottle. Oh God, it smells so good. It is really blue. Now I know there's alcohol in here and let me just say it, there's no sting at all so far. <laughs> Nothing. Oh the menthol. Holy shit. I was not expecting that sort of menthol kick. This stuff's outstanding. We'll see what the post shaves feel like. I'm gonna let this dry in while I'm on the camera. Well, 
that menthol has got a real good kick to it. It's just really cooling me down, but I've got no burn, no irritation, no redness, no cuts, no weepers, no nothing. Wow. Right, so while I'm waiting, I'm just going to clean this brush off. I mean, I don't know what I'd be more impressed by, this brush or the, the razor and blade combo. Best shave. Easily the best shave I've had. Thousands of dollars on razors, thousands of dollars on brushes. And a little cheap razor rock. With a new persona med prep blade in it. I guess we're the best shave I've ever had. Ever. 33 years. So the soap was Barrister's Reserve Cool. I love the scent on this soap. I love the, the packaging. I love the tubs. I love the, the slickness. The it's just it's one of my favourite soaps. Barrister's a man. Barrister a man. Especially the Reserve formula. It is outstanding. I did load the brush very heavily today, but it is big brush, it's huge, but look at the tips on it, it's just beautiful, it's a phenomenal brush, it is, it's really blown me away, super soft with loads of scrub, there's no scritch unfortunately for Spencer, I know he likes a bit of scritch but I think he'll forgive the brush for it when he actually uses it because it is outstanding, and when you put it next to a 28mm Morrison Fondren, you can see the difference in size, it's just it's just huge. You can hide my brush behind it and not even see it. So it's a, it's a big old brush, I think it's about, it must be. It's got to be 32mm, 33mm knot, easily. It's huge. The razor was the Razor Rock MG90. Aluminium head, titanium handle. And... It wasn't a Persona Med Prep blade. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best blade I use, it's one of my favourites, I, I didn't even know I put it in here, I thought I'd put a med, I could have sworn I put a med prep in here, I said Gillette Asset, so there you go, that's probably why it was brilliant, because I love the Gillette Asset blades, these bad boys stuck up behind me, that was absolutely incredible, what a shave, really enjoyed that, really really enjoyed it, and that's dried in now, my skin is tingling cold, ice cold, and it feels amazing, it really does. Anyway guys, I am at 30 minutes for a head shave. For a head shave? Oh, I am tired, done a lot of football this week for my face shave. But I'm going to leave you guys to it. I didn't dedicate this video to anyone because I was using a few new products. I knew I was going to talk about them rather than the person I was dedicating it to. I don't think that's really fair. So I'll leave you guys to it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll be doing a head shave either today or tomorrow. And stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.